again, my name is Gabe Zollner. This is the 25th of January, 2019. You'd think that Gina Haspel's CIA would have tested the waters in Venezuela before President Trump went off announcing what he announced, huh? I mean, you'd think that they'd determine as to whether or not the president of Venezuela has the support of the military. It appears that he does. ABC News. Backed by military, Venezuela's Maduro hits back at rival. Mm -hmm. Maduro went on the offensive against an opposition leader who declared himself interim president and his U.S. supporters setting up a potentially explosive struggle for power in a crisis-plagued South American nation. A defiant Maduro called home all Venezuelan diplomats in the United States and closed this embassy on Thursday, a day after ordering all U.S. diplomats out of Venezuela by the weekend, because President Donald Trump had supported the presidential claim of Juan Guaidro. Washington has refused to comply, but ordered its non-essential staff to leave the tumultuous country, citing security concerns. The Trump administration says Maduro's order isn't legal because the U.S. no longer recognizes him as Venezuela's legitimate leader. Well, what about the people? What about the military in Venezuela? Huh? It's none of our business. Here we go again. Regime change. You want to bet John Bolton is doing backflips? Quote, they believe they have a colonial hold in Venezuela where they decide what they want to do, Maduro said in an address broadcast live on state TV. You must fulfill my order from the government of Venezuela. Meanwhile, all eyes were on Guiado, whose whereabouts have been mysterious since the 35-year-old was symbolically sworn in Wednesday before tens of thousands of cheering supporters, promising to uphold the Constitution and rid Venezuela of Maduro's dictatorship. Speaking from an undisclosed location, Guaido told Univision he would consider granting amnesty to Maduro and his allies if they help return Venezuela to democracy. Amnesty is on the table, said Guaido, who just weeks earlier was named head of the opposition-controlled Congress. Those guarantees are for all those who are willing to side with the Constitution to recover the constitutional order. Besides the United States, much of the international community rallied behind Guaido, with Canada and numerous Latin American and European countries announcing that they recognize his claim to the presidency. Trump promised to use the full weight of U.S. economy and diplomatic power to push for the restoration of Venezuela's democracy. Again, you should have checked with the military first. Maduro has been increasingly accused of under democracy behavior by his opponents and has presided over skyrocketing inflation, a collapsing economy, and a widespread shortage of basic goods. Meanwhile, Russia, China, Iran, Syria, Cuba, and Turkey have voiced their backing for Maduro's government. Here you go. There's Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Huh? See whose side he's on. China's foreign minister called the United States to stay out of the crisis, which they should have stayed out of the crisis. Well, Russia's deputy foreign minister warned the U.S. against any military intervention in Venezuela. Alexei Pushov, chairman of the Information Committee at the Russian Federation Council, called Guaido's declaration an attempted coup backed by the U.S. Well, that's exactly what it is. Russia has been popping up Maduro with arms deliveries and loans. Maduro visited Moscow in December seeking Russia political and financial support. Over the last decade, China has given Venezuela $65 billion in loans, cash, and investments. Venezuela owes more than $20 billion. Diplomats at the Organization of American States held an emergency meeting Thursday on the Venezuela crisis, during which 16 nations recognized Guaido as interim president. Well, <laughs> you want to read the rest of the article. Like I said, you'd think that Gina Haspel and that dysfunctional CIA would have tested the waters 
with Venezuela's military before they went off half-cocked. This could result in civil war in that country. It could end up resembling Libya. And that's, again, the United States sticks their toes in the waters that they don't belong in. Tell me where I'm wrong. Hmm? You can't, can you? Read the rest of the article. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Ask him why Gina Haspel didn't test the waters. Thanks for listening.